Thank you, Jim. Um, thank you so much, Variety. Um, thank you for not making me look stupid like everybody else wants to do on TV. I love that. Um, thank you guys for coming here and waiting um, through this. Uh, mainly, I want to thank my whole team and everybody for listening to me. Um, uh, I never meant to make a hit. Um, and I know this is like the hit makers awards and it's, it's crazy that you can make one without meaning to. And um, actually when we were working on the album, somebody told um, me and my brother Phineas, who's my co-writer, that there was no hit on the album and that they didn't. Uh, I don't know what th that was supposed to do. I don't know how that was supposed to help anyone. <laughs> but um, that fool was wrong. <laughs> So, um, yeah, <laughs> um, and it's crazy to like be sitting there with my like mom and my dad and my brother and my team that I love so much and then like YG's up here and Tiger's up here and like what the hell, like that's crazy, like I don't know, I grew up on them, I've grown up on so many of the people in this room, um, I want to thank my team and my label, um, my managers Danny and Brandon who I think are incredible that have always trusted me. Um, uh, my label guy, Justin, who uh, is like the, the only person I trusted to begin with, I feel like, and that, that's no shade to anybody else, but I really felt like he saw something in me that I didn't feel like anybody else saw, so thank you, Justin, for everything. Um, thank you to Alex Baker, my PR. I don't think she gets enough credit for what she does. Um, Thank you to uh, Chelsea and Michelle from my label, my creative team, for believing in me and letting me do what I wanted and thinking it was a good idea. I know it was really easy to not think it was a good idea because a lot of my ideas sound like they wouldn't be. Um, so thank you for assuming they would be. Um, I love you guys. I love you, Laura, my day-to-day, uh, -day, um, and my mom and my dad who are right there, and Variety, Jim, thank you, Shirley. Um, John Janik, Steve Berman, and a big thank you to my big brother Phineas, who's right there. Yeah. Come here, get your ass up here. Um, Phineas is my best friend, um, my big brother. He's four years older than me, and we've been best friends kind of forever, and we started writing music together when I was 13 and he was 18, or 17. And um, he produces everything, I think. He's, he's the only reason I'm anywhere in, in the whole world. He's probably the only reason I'm alive. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> um, I would just like to thank uh, Billy for, for um, being, you know, naive in her trust of, of a 17-year-old who had no idea what he was doing, <laughs> who was incredibly ambitious and thought every idea I had was the best idea. And, um, you know, I, I couldn't be more proud of every song that I've, I've made with you. And there's a lot of like bullshit articles about me now about how I'm not just Billie Eilish's brother. And just being Billie Eilish's brother is all I ever want to be. I love Billy more than anything else. And I'm so grateful to you and I love you. One more thing, the last thing I want to say is, I know there's a lot of like teams here, like managers and labels, and please listen to your artists. Um, even if they have a stupid idea, at least hear them out. Um, it might not be stupid in the end. Uh, just listen to people and be open-minded and trust and don't think that just because it's not like everything else is bad. Um, yeah, thank you, Variety. Thank you guys so much. Thank you.